Hi everybody, good morning. Andrea Trowski here with Dental Well Tutoring. Let's go right into some board exam type questions that you need to know. I'm going to ask you a series of questions with multiple choice type answers. I'm gonna give you a moment to think about it. You can always pause the video and then I'm gonna jump right into it and talk about the answers. So this is all part of a board exam boot camp. So for my Dental L members, if you've signed up for any board exam prep academy package, you get full access to my board exam boot camps where I go over one and a half hours of just mock exam practice. I do this several times a year. If you're not a member though, don't worry, you can always sign up for it separately. And if you missed the live class, the one and a, the one and a half hour live class, that's okay. It is always available for a full recording as well. So I will leave the link for you guys down below in the description, but let's just jump right into it, okay? So let's see here, are you guys ready? Whoops, I don't wanna give you guys the answer yet. Sorry, I didn't mean to show that. I wanted to show you the questions, or maybe I won't show you the questions. Maybe I'll just read it out and then you guys can kind of think of it that way, okay? So this will maybe entice you more to sign up for the board exam bootcamp when we do have them. And if you're wondering when we have them, they're always mentioned on the website at dentalel.com and of course on Instagram as well. So yeah, that's, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to read out the question and then we're going to go through them, okay? So let's do a little bit of radiography first. So which radiographic landmark is characterized by a dense radiopaque line around the tooth root? Is it A, the mental foramen? Is it B, the periodontal ligament space? Is it C, the lamina dura? Or D, the alveolar crest? Um, maybe I will show you guys the questions just so you can read them here. Do I need to zoom in? Let's do that. So can you guys read those? This is as much as I can zoom in apparently. So it's kind of small, but at least you guys can see the question and you can see the answer, okay? I feel like I should be able to zoom in more, but I can't, but that's okay. So which radiographic landmark is characterized by a dense radiopaque line around the tooth root? A, B, C, or D. Feel free to pause the video if you need to think about it, and then I'm going to give you guys the answer, and I'm also going to show you the x-ray as well, okay? So I'm just going to jump right into the answer since I gave you guys an extra few moments. So the answer is lamina dura. Now, if you're in any of my board exam prep academy packages, this one is specific to the board exam boot camp that I am holding um, actually tonight. So depending on when you're watching the video, you can still watch the recording of this class if you like but um i don't just give you the the answers but i give you the rationales as well and why things are incorrect so lamina dura here this is what it looks like so lamina dura so anytime there oh sorry i keep giving you the answers to the next one whoops anytime for radiography they ask you a question you need to think is it going to be radiopaque or radiolucent so going back to the question it, it was asking you a radiopaque line around the tooth root does radiopaque mean dark or does that mean light so that's something you have to think about as you're going through all of the different choices is it a the, the mental foramen the b periodontal ligament space the lamina dura or the alveolar crest Think of what all of those are as you're answering the question. So the mental foramen, think of where that is. Would you say that's a line or would you say that's a dot, right? And then the periodontal ligament space, is that radiopaque or is it radiolucent? Any space is going to be typically dark, so that means radiopaque. C, lamina dura. D, the alveolar crest. The alveolar crest, is it just a simple line? So I'm going to read out the rationales to you. So the mental foramen is a, is a radiolucent area near the premolars on the mandible. So it's not a line and it's not really around the tooth root, although it kind of is, but it's not a line. So that's the key here. And it's also not radiopaque, it's radiolucent. It's not periodontal ligament space either because that is radiolucent, not radiopaque. Um, it's the lamina dura because that's the best answer. It's literally a radiopaque line. So showing you here with the tooth, because I, I can see in the arrows here, it kind of might look like I'm pointing to the radiolucent line, which is the dark line, but it's literally this white line that kind of outlines a tooth. Okay, so that's why I showed you guys both. Or the alveolar crest, 
that's not correct because this is a radiopaque line indicating the top of the alveolar bone between the teeth. So it's this line here. It's not talking about by the root surface like the question was asking. So how is everybody doing so far? So let's go, I'm going to scroll down to a different question since you probably saw the answers for the last one. Um, let's do this one here. Which radiographic landmark appears as a small radiolucent dot on the midline of the mandible below the apices of the central incisor? So this is very specific. I like that. Is it the lingual foramen? Is it the genial um, tubercles? Is it the, the hamular process or the nutrient canals? So for all of this, while you're studying, preparing for the board exam, do you know all of the options, A, B, C, and D? If you're reading through this and you go, shoot, what's a lingual foramen again? Well, you have to know that. Maybe you want to stop and go back to study your radiographic unit. If you're a student of mine in any of my board exam prep academy classes, you have the radiographic module where you can easily refer back to. So I make it very easy for you. That's why I hold the board exam boot camp several times a year. So you always get that extra practice. Maybe when you're first starting to practice for the board exam, you're first starting to study for it, or you're taking it tomorrow and you need to make sure you understand. So B, genial tubercles, what's that? So remember in the question, it's talking about very specific things here. Small radiolucent dot on the midline of the mandible below the apices of the central incisor. So you need to know where the mandible is. You need to know where the central incisors are. Where is the apices? Is that the top of the tooth or the bottom? That's the bottom. Radiolucent, what's that? That's dark and that's a dot. So what do you guys think? So let me just scroll down and read the rationales to you here. Where is it here? Here we go. So this one here, so it's the lingual foramen. That's really the only radiolucent dot we're talking about. The genial tubercles, this is a common one that I find students mix up. They are small radiopaque, not radiolucent, circular areas near the midline of the mandible below the apices of the central incisors. So it's in the same area, it's a dot, but it's not radiolucent, it's radiopaque, so it's white. That's where students mix it up. I think they quite often mix up the radiolucent or radiopaque. Are you one of those students where it's really hard to pinpoint these landmarks? Let me know in the comments, I'm curious. The hamular process is a radiopaque hook-like projection posterior to the maxillary tuberosity. So completely different. It's not a dot. It's very easy to see. It's a hook-like process. I have all of these images for you, all of these x-rays inside my board exam prep academy courses. So definitely have a look if you are a member. And then nutrient canals. These are radiolucent lines. So any canal is going to be dark. It's going to be radiolucent. It's not a dot. It's a line often seen in the mandibular region, but it's not a dot and it's not specifically at the midline. Okay, so those are just a few questions for you to get you kind of started and thinking, are you prepared for the board exam? Do you need extra board, board exam help? Do you need mock exam practice? So depending on when you're watching the video, um, hopefully you can join us at our board exam boot camp tonight. If you can't, don't worry, I'm going to be posting the full one and a half hour recording plus this entire document of hundreds of mock exam questions. How many pages is this? I believe it's like 51 pages. Um, and I tend to add to it as well. And I'm here if you need any help. So if you missed the live class, check out the description down below. You can also go to dentalel.com. You can see the full recording of me talking and teaching all of this plus the full document to go through these questions and answers with rationales on your own. So definitely have a look, comment below, say hello, click like if you like this video, and I'll see you guys very soon. Hope I can see you tonight.